Hi, my name is Adrian Ronquillo, 23 years old. I uh, am from Ketchikan, Alaska, and I'm also a software engineer at Netflix. What do you do as a software engineer? So in terms of what I do specifically, at a pretty high level, I work on the interface uh, for Netflix. So for example, the, the website, as well as if you're going through the TV app, uh, I work on the interfaces related to that. Um, I think it really started to affect me like around like 130-ish or so. There was, a, there was a specific month where I really just like grinded applications and, and interview practice and all that. And that was like in January when uh, school wasn't going on. Um, and my mental health was taking a toll because I wasn't really getting very many responses. Like it, it's pretty grueling. Like when you are applying to so many places and putting in the time and effort for like most of them and then you just get ghosted like no emails back at all no like automated email even like it's the worst when you are really hoping to get into a certain company and then you know you just wait and then nothing happens they don't even send that decline email which you know i think all companies should do um so like i was getting pretty pretty depressed about it to be honest and like I expressed that to like my family and friends I'm like oh this is so hard like I'm putting in so much work and I'm like not getting anything out of it um so it was definitely really hard for me like especially with you know like I, I guess the the weather and uh the like how, how dark it was getting each day too like seasonal affective uh, I forgot the terminology but um yeah like all that combined like it was pretty it was pretty pretty depressing uh because you know, I did have an internship, that one internship uh, under my belt, which puts you above other people as well. So, like, I would, I was thinking that maybe I could get like some, um, some people reaching out, but yeah, it wasn't really happening. Like, even around like 120 or 130. Um, so yeah, there was there's some sadness along the way. that hospitable for for those types of people like you mentioned like Alaska like being an Alaskan you know moving all the way from California like yeah that definitely does not happen really at all like most people from my town they end up settling in that town or you know places near that town somewhere in Alaska um, and then in addition to that being Filipino because most most Filipinos that I know they they go through nursing or work in some uh, like trade job so there was definitely a lot of things like pushing me back. And for those reasons um, that I was able to like get past all that and be in a place that like is honestly like unheard of for like my background, like it's definitely really, really cool. And my parents are like definitely like my family, my whole family is extremely like proud of that. Um, and like I am proud of like how far that I've come, which is which is great.